Hello, in this video, I am going to discuss about superposition of two collinear simple harmonic motion having slightly different frequencies. Superposition of two collinear simple harmonic motion of slightly different frequencies slightly different frequencies in my previous video I have discussed about superposition of two collinear simple harmonic motion having different phase. Now we are having different frequencies. This phenomena is called as beats. Okay, we are discussing beats now. Now what is beats? By definition, if you want to know, so beats. So beats is the superposition of two sound waves of nearly same frequency. As a result, there is a periodic fluctuation produced in the intensity of sound. That is, when two sound waves, when two sound waves superimpose Uh, for example, superimpose uh, two sound waves having slightly different frequencies, I should say, of slightly different frequencies of slightly, yes, uh, slightly I'm forgetting the spacing, is filling of slightly, sorry, slightly different frequencies, different frequencies superimpose there is a periodic fluctuation there is a periodic fluctuation fluctuations in the intensity of sound in the intensity of sound okay at a rate at a rate equal to the difference in the frequencies difference between the two frequencies between the two Okay, so this is called as beats. Now let's go to the derivation part. What will happen when two simple harmonic waves of slightly different uh, frequencies superimpose? Now, for example, you have got two sound waves uh, having frequency nu1 and nu2, nu1 and nu2. You have got two sound waves having frequency nu1 and nu2. Okay. So represented by represented by for example x1 is equal to a sine 2 pi nu 1 t and x2 is equal to a sine 2 pi nu 2 t. Okay. Nu two 
This is equation 1 and this is equation 2. So, what will be the resultant after superimposition? The resultant x, for example, x is the resultant of x1 and x2 after superposition, superposition is x equal to x1 plus x2 is equal to a sin 2 pi new 1 t plus a sin 2 pi new 2 t. By applying the simple trigonometric formulas, what you will get? We have got sin a plus sin b. We will get twice of a. You can write like this cos nu1 minus nu2 divided by 2 times of t into sin. There should be okay twice pi nu1 plus nu2 divided by 2 into t. There will be twice pi here. Small twice pi will come here. I miss that. Okay. So, so this is the case we are getting. Now, for example, this is equation number three. Now, this equation three represents the resultant vibration having amplitude a so equation 3 represents the resultant vibration the resultant vibration okay of amplitude a is equal to twice of a cos twice of pi nu one minus nu two divided by two times of t and frequency of the resultant frequency nu one plus nu two divided by two times of t. So this much is clear, I guess. So let's move further. We will consider cases. Let us consider some cases. Two cases we'll consider. Case number one for maximum amplitude. For maximum amplitude. That is that is a will have value plus minus twice of a it will happen in that case how will you get the maximum amplitude for amplitude to be maximum what we will have to do the value of cos twice of pi nu1 minus nu2 divided by 2 times of t should be equal to plus minus 1 Okay, that means this entire value must be maximum and it will be maximum when this entire value will be equal to plus minus 1 which I have written here. Okay, 
So, so if this happens, then what will be pi times of then pi times of mu one minus mu two times of t will be equal to k pi. Okay, where k is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, like this. Okay, this gives t is equal to k divided by mu 1 minus mu. So, this will be equal to value of t as 0 for k is equal to 0, 1 divided by mu 1 minus mu 2 for k is equal to 1. Okay, for k is equal to it is 2 divided by mu 1 minus mu 2. Is it? So the time interval between two consecutive maxima will be time interval time interval between two consecutive maxima two consecutive maxima will be how much will be equal to we just find the difference between any two you can find the difference between for example these two or you find the difference between these two what you'll get you'll get one divided by mu one minus mu. okay so this is the first case we will consider the second case the second case is for minimum amplitude okay case number two case number two for minimum amplitude minimum amplitude that is minimum amplitude means a will be equal to zero so in this case what you want in this case we want this entire part will be equal to zero okay we want entire cos part to be equal to zero how it is possible so for minimum amplitude cos 2 pi mu 1 minus mu 2 divided by 2 times of t will be equal to 0. In the previous case we have considered cos 2 pi mu 1 minus mu 2 divided by 2 is equal to plus minus 1 here it will be 0 for minimum amplitude this gives pi in general where you can write is equal to 0 oh, sorry. yeah it is 0 uh, now we can write like this k pi plus pi by 2 where k is equal to 0 1 2 3 like this in general form we have written okay if cos so if cos of this entire quantity is equal to 0 then this part is only this part will be equal to this in general form okay okay next this gives t is equal to how much k divided by mu 1 minus mu 2 plus 1 by twice of mu 1 minus mu 2 okay so for different values of k what you will get this gives t is equal to when k is equal to 1 or k is equal to 0 we will get 1 divided by twice of mu 1 minus 
mu two. When k is equal to one, then we'll have three by two divided by mu one minus mu two like this. Okay. When k is equal to three, we'll have five by two mu one minus mu two like this. Okay. That is this is the value for k is equal to zero. This is the value for k is equal to one. This is the value for k is equal to two. Okay. Now, so the time interval between two consecutive minima. The time interval. Between two consecutive minima minima is equal to similar to the previous case, we'll just take the subtraction of any two terms, consecutive term. For example, this minus this, what you'll get? 1 divided by mu 1 minus mu 2. Okay. So, and what is the frequency and frequency? What is the frequency? Frequency of minima will be equal to mu 1 minus mu. In the previous case, the frequency of maxima was same new one minus k. Okay. You can write here and for maxima and frequency of maxima frequency of maxima is equal to say mu 1 minus mu 2. So, we can see that the frequency of maxima and the frequency of minima is same. This is the frequency of maxima and this is the frequency of minima. Both are same. In one frame, you can see here, frequency of maxima and frequency of minima are same. Thus, the number of beats produced per second is equal to the difference in frequencies of the two sounding bodies. Okay. That is, thus, note this point, very important. The number of beats per second, that is, beat frequency. Bit frequency is equal to difference in frequencies. Difference in frequency between the two sounding bodies. The two sounding bodies. So, this was the entire phenomena of superposition of two collinear simple harmonic motion having slightly